This video is a description of Drystill's HRU, or heat recovery unit, in the context of a first generation ethanol plant. Such plants employ a regenerative thermal oxidizer to treat the off gas of DGG dryers before discharging them to atmosphere through a tall stack. This flue gas may be as much as one third water vapor by weight. Drystill interposes its HRU between the RTO and the stack. An arrangement of ducting can bypass the drystill equipment at the flick of a switch. In this mode, the plant is in its original state. When the HRU is placed on line, the flue gas is directed through a gas absorption chamber. Here it is met by a falling stream of liquid. This liquid is a highly concentrated brine or salt solution, and it scrubs a portion of the water vapor out of the flue gas. In transitioning from gas to liquid, this water releases the latent heat of evaporation. A bank of heat pipes conduct that heat to the adjacent chamber. Here, pure water is circulated and sprayed over the other end of the same heat pipes. The heat transferred causes the water in the right-hand chamber to boil at atmospheric pressure, generating a stream of low-pressure steam. In rough terms, one pound of water removed from the flue gas causes one pound of water to boil. As it passes through the absorption chamber, the brine becomes more dilute. In order to be reused, it must be regenerated to its original concentration. It is pumped to a still where all the absorbed water is boiled out at atmospheric pressure. High pressure plant steam is used to drive this boiling. In rough terms, one pound of high pressure steam generates one pound of low pressure steam. But this stream is doubled in magnitude when combined with the stream that was generated through flue gas scrubbing. The net result then is two pounds of low pressure steam to run the plant for every pound of high pressure steam used. Now this has been a simplified explanation to convey the basic concept, but it should be obvious to those skilled in the art that higher efficiencies can be achieved through the use of multiple effect regenerators with or without the use of thermal compressors.